Ratios are used to solve word problems. Let's look at a few examples. In this classroom, the ratio of girls to boys is 3 to 4. Here is the question. If there are 12 girls in the class, how many boys are there? The ratio of girls to boys is 3 to 4. Write the ratio as a fraction, 3 over 4. Fractional form makes the ratio easier to solve. We know that there are 12 girls in the class, but we don't know how many boys there are. Create an equivalent ratio. 3 over 4 equals 12 over 12. We multiply 3 by 4 to get the 12 girls. We must multiply the boys by 4 as well to keep the ratios equivalent. 4 times 4 is 16. This means that if there are 12 girls in the class, there are 16 boys. You always answer a word problem in words. Let's do another example. You will notice that the steps are very similar for both problems. A kennel has 145 dogs in total. Some are puppies and some are adult dogs. The ratio of puppies to adult dogs in a kennel is 1 to 4. How many puppies are there? First, you have to read the question carefully. The question tells you there are 145 dogs. The ratio given is puppies to adult dogs. We can write the ratio of puppies to adult dogs as 1 to 4. Since we have the information about the total number of dogs, 145 dogs, we will have to write a part to whole ratio. The total number of dogs is 1 plus 4, 5 dogs in total. The ratio of puppies to dogs is 1 to 5. Write the ratio that compares puppies to dogs, filling in the known number of dogs. Notice that since you know the total number of dogs is 145, that number goes on the bottom of the ratio to match the total. Since you will multiply 5 by 29 to get 145, you will multiply 1 by 29. The answer will be 29 puppies at the kennel. In summary, the steps to solving a ratio problem are read the problem carefully, notice what ratios you are given and match them to the question, write the appropriate ratios, solve the equivalent ratios, answer the question in words, and check to make sure your answer makes sense.